The Fifth Amendment to the United States Constitution says that no person shall be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against himself. This is commonly known as the privilege against self-incrimination. Miranda had a long criminal history. In 1963, he was suspected of raping and kidnapping a young woman. Police interrogated him for hours and used psychological trickery to obtain a confession. They did advise him of his right to silence, and they did advise him that his confession would become evidence. He was convicted and appealed to the Supreme Court. The court looked at the impact of police practices on securing confessions. The court examined various policing manuals and summarised them like this. To be alone with the suspect is essential to deprive him of any outside support. The aura of confidence in his guilt undermines his will to resist. He merely confirms the preconceived story the police seek to have him describe. Patience and persistence, at times relentless questioning, are employed. When normal procedures fail to produce the needed result, the police may resort to deceptive stratagems such as giving false legal advice. It is important to keep the subject off balance, for example, by trading on his insecurity about himself or his surroundings. The police then persuade, trick or cajole him out of exercising his constitutional rights. The court found that confessions obtained in this way were not safe, and the only way to make confessions safe was to ensure the suspect had a lawyer present. The court said, The need for counsel to protect the Fifth Amendment privilege comprehends not merely a right to consult with counsel prior to questioning, but also to have counsel present during any questioning, if the defendant so desires. With a lawyer present, the likelihood that the police will practice coercion is reduced, and if coercion is nevertheless exercised, the lawyer can testify to it in court. The court found that a lawyer could be demanded at any time, not just at the start, and that if a suspect was poor, a lawyer should be appointed for them. This warning, the right to silence and to counsel, is commonly known as a Miranda warning, and is now a standard part of arrest procedures throughout the United States. Miranda himself was retried, convicted, and jailed, and ultimately died in a knife fight in a bar, aged 34. Mm.